Hello everybody, welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. I'm still at Midwest Panels in Michigan. And today we're gonna to be working on the wire harnesses for the plane. If you see here, actually the previous video I uploaded, I showed you some of the diagram and I'll, we'll, we'll talk about that some more. And so what I wanna to do today is get some hands-on uh, experience and actually putting these wires together. So what they do here mainly is the avionics and the panels for the planes, uh, but also, what I'll be working on today is the wire harness for the wings of the plane. The landing lights, the positioning lights, and also the pitot heat. You guys stay tuned. And guys, this is Adam. He's going to be walking us through. He's the, the main tech here when it comes to all of these wire and stuff. And uh, he's going to be walking us through the process. So Adam, can you can you tell the, the viewers what I'll be doing today? Yeah, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and make the uh, left and right wing wiring harnesses, um, as you've uh, already heard. And uh, so the idea is that we can get these ready to go. And then the next time uh, Mike's out at the airplane factory in California, we'll just be there waiting for him. And then as he's building the wings, he can go ahead and install them and... Uh, and, and have all the lights ready to go. Awesome. So when you think about it, your wings has different electronic components attached to it. You have your lights, your positioning lights, your landing lights, but also your flaps are electronically controlled. And so these things require electric wires for you to be able to control them from the cockpit. The first step here is we're gonna measure and cut a set of wires of the same size and length. And as you can see, such a neat setup here, you have the tape rolled out for you and you just go all the way to the beginning there and you're able to measure your wires. So here we go. So I can go up to 205 inches there and then cut that. Oh man, this is, it says 20. You say we need 17 though. Yep, so just go up to 205 and then that'll make up for that extra inch or so when you slipped earlier. Okay. So go ahead and hold it, so grab it between your finger and your thumb and then you can take these snips here and you can just cut right off the edge of your thumb without actually cutting yourself, of course. And that is your right wing position lights. Once you've cut your wires to keep things organized, we have some labels here. And so we have to label each wire for the right component in the airplane. Peel these off. So here are the labels. So what we do here is we take the numbers because this is how we reference them on the diagrams so we'll take the numbers 34 and 36 so 34 is going to be your landing light 36 is going to be your taxi light okay so we install those on both ends of the wire and then on the end that is actually going to be at the lights themselves that's where we put land and taxi so that when you're hooking them up you can actually see what they are without having to reference a diagram okay so what we'll do is we'll grab one of these white wires process is quite as simple as so we'll start for example with the landing one mm -hmm. so we'll put these a few inches back this one will put so on both ends six inches back so uh, just by doing this we're gonna say that this is the connector end and we're gonna say that this is the light end of the wire oh, okay and then so by saying that's the light end of the wire and this also gets the land label mm. And then what we'll do, so we'll grab a heat gun. Oh, it's a heat gun. And you'll watch the label shrink right down onto the wire. That is neat. Uh, so what we'll do with these is uh, the red, yellow, and blue. We'll go ahead and take all three of those and push them through that label using the same lengths as the white wires. So. So about three on one end and, and then go ahead and put these uh, the black one through that label there. Uh -huh. So when you do melt them, mm -hmm. 
try to hold them to all be right at the edge of your thumb to be the same length because you're going to want to melt this one on as well oh, okay. and get everything secure. And it doesn't matter the ones that's been melted already? Just no, they'll be place perfectly it. fine. Okay. So, so there's that, and then uh, we're done with the heat gun for now, so I'll go ahead and just turn it off and let it get to cool down. Once the wires are labeled, then you have to put the clamps on them, and then you hook them up to the faceplate that then becomes a full harness. This is the part that plugs into whatever connections you have on the airframe of the airplane. All right. So, I'll show you one more time. So now we're using 22 to 20. Okay. So open the gate. Drop the pin in, close the gate, squeeze it one click, hmm. now you're ready to go. Open, close, and squeeze one click. And you said just shove the wire on until you can't go any further? Yeah, so what you might find easier when you're doing this is to kind of just grab the yellow wire on its own and not even worry about these wires being in your hand. Okay. I can show you so I'm sticking it right... Right in, through the middle. Right there? Yep. And then if you push, you can kind of feel it stop moving. So now slide your fingers up to push that seal in. Okay. So squeeze down. Keep going. They're a little bit tough, so you're going to have to give it some grease. And then keep going, keep going. I think that's the most I'm pulling. All right. Let's see good. if that's it. Um, move your hand back and just and, and just give it all you got. There you go. That should be it right there. Okay. And then now separate them. You have to, to grab the ends and pull okay. them up. These ones are a little bit tougher crimpers. Uh, oh, maybe there's one more here. Let's see. One more click to go? There you go. Okay. And then you can go ahead and uh, push the button to open the gate. Which button? Uh, it's on the bottom here. Oh, okay. So just kind of lift that up. There you go. Oh, wow. It's a crimp pin. Sweet. All right. Next one. See, when you think of this entire process as a builder, it's one thing to be mechanically inclined, but for me, one of the reasons why I went through the Build Assist program is that all of these tools, as minute as they may be, you would have to have them in place and have the right ones, and also make sure you're cutting these things the right way. All right, so now we're ready to put the pins oh, into the wow. connector. As you can see the connector we've got labeled W2 for wing two. These ones are a little bit harder to see. We actually laser etch these labels in using the same machine that we laser etch your panel with. Oh, that yep. is what you... So guys, you see everything we're doing here, uh, including the all of these wire harnesses and the the plug-in that you see here. These are made right here. This These are not stuff that is ordered from some other factory or anything like that. The wires are cut, the pins are in, and the plugins, everything is handmade right here. That's what we're doing right now. I think it's pretty cool. So we're working on the W2 connector. Okay. And you can see, so these wire numbers start to come into play here. So your position lights are AFR 35E22. So we go red, yellow, blue. Okay. That's your ground and that's your landing and your taxi light. So it's quite as simple as coming over to your connector here. And, and so pin one, um, Pin one on these male connectors, you look at the back to the left and that's pin one. Okay. Um, if we do the female end of the connector, which we'll have on your harness, it's actually the opposite when you're looking at the back of it. So pin one would be over here. Because when you're plugging in, one's on top here, one's on top there. Okay. Um, but for this purpose, we can use, say, that's one and that's six. And the same is true for this little guy here as well. So what we do, as we just kind of look over W2, pin one is 35E22 red. Okay. So just come over here, 35E22 red. And looking at the connector as it is, where this big uh, latch is on top, mm -hmm. we take the pin and orient it so that it's like that. Okay, facing. Back. Slide it in, and then you heard the click. Sweet. And that's in. So as you see guys, this is the full process of creating your wire harness and then once you have these wires 
The next step is you hook them up to the right component in the airplane. So we'll take an example here. If some of these wires, for example, are for your avionics or any of the screens you have on your panel, this is typically what it looks like. So guys, there you go. I made my first wire harness pen. See, everything is all selected in there. Wires are labeled correctly. And this is gonna plug in to the plane and our, to, to light up our, all of our lights, the landing, the position of light strobes, all that cool stuff. This is really neat stuff. Okay, here we are, Steve. So our main man here, and he's going to show us around. So this is a sample panel. Actually, this is what my panel is going to look like, all right? You see here, we have the dual screen, G3X Touch, and in the middle, we'll have our GTN650 and the autopilot there. All right, so actually, can you walk me through this front end first, and then we'll show some of the, the harnesses in the back and how, how they work together? Sure, absolutely. So basically, <clears throat> what we do is is we start with a just a blank panel. Okay. Uh, we have this powder coat, then we go ahead and etch all of the lettering into it. But then we set it up on this block here, and this is where we start building the actual panel out, putting okay. all of our switches in, and uh, getting all that stuff set with our switch guards. <clears throat> Some of this stuff is Rotax. Okay. The lanes, the um, fuel pumps. This is all going to go to the Rotax module. Uh, this particular one uh, has a push button just like the Mojo panel will have. So this will be a smart key system as well. Awesome. Master switch will come on, which will arm everything. Okay, awesome. Actually, so I should mention, so you guys, you heard him say this. these will go to the Rotax. As you know, one of the, to me, not one, the best thing about the Rotax 915, this is a full... Uh, uh, What's the right word to use for it? Fully electronic. Yeah, fully yeah. electronic. It's FedEx. Yeah, it has a FedEx system, so you've got computers running the game for you, basically. And some of this controls here, the the wire harness is going to plug into the computer of the engine, and you'll be able to see the data up front. So now this is where the magic happens. So what what are we looking at here? So right here is uh, we're looking at the HIC connectors. So these are going to be the ones that actually go to the Rotex. Uh, computer itself through these connectors here. So we'll pin each one, put them into the connectors, awesome. and this will connect up with the um, the control module for the whole unit. Okay. Um, this side here now is a CAN bus that comes off of that. So this will go to the G3X system to give us the uh, data such as engine sensors and uh, things like that. So we'll see RPM, we'll see those type of things uh, out so of this cool. system. And then these will actually be uh, we make the maintenance connectors because if you ever had to diagnose the system, they can plug into two plugs that will go on here to pull codes and see what's going on inside the, the system itself. Very nice. Okay, cool. Now, some of the, the wire harness we just put together there with the lights, mm -hmm. is anything connecting to the back of the panel here? Yeah, yes, and in a lot of cases what will happen is because the connectors that you just built with Adam, those are were the wings, they'll plug into the main harness, which then will make its way up to the several switches that are uh, back behind the panel, depending on uh, the situation. This particular one's using a VPX, so therefore these are all ground switches. Right. But if it was a, um, a, like we're gonna build with yours, where everything's controlled the power, we're, we're actually controlling that through these switches. So we'd have more of the wires coming up here. But yes, we would be controlling them here. So it'll go through that connector, to a main harness then to a connector that comes up to the panel very nice okay as you see here that was a sample panel that's going in an actual airplane and the mojo sling actually will have something very similar to this building an airplane from a kit can take thousands of hours and here's one of the reasons why you have to build all of these components or get some help building them well i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something if you did, be sure to give a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I've got a couple of more build videos coming in the future, so stay tuned for that. Also, you can go ahead to mojogrip.net and be part of the mailing list. That way you get all of these insights first by email. Again, my name is Mike. Thank you so much for spending time with me, and I will catch you on the next video.